Hello traders, uh, Coach Igor here at Chart Champions and today I've got a special one for you uh, because today I'm going to show you the skill sharpener number seven. Um, just over a week ago I provided a skill sharpener exercise as we do every two weeks to our paying members at Chart Champions. Um, this is a bi-weekly event where our members are challenged to identify a potential trade setup by studying the chart given and apply the tools that are currently being studied um, by them. Um, after two weeks, we release a detailed video to go over the setup we saw at the top of posting with the aim of getting all our members to a level where they are able to independently identify future trades and setups on their own. This setup we selected was um, Aurora Cannabis, um, the stock, uh, and the trade was a long setup that led to a 30% winning trade. Um, I'm excited to show you, uh, so here we go. Hello team, so, okay, skill sharpener number seven. Um, so for those of you who know, we were looking at uh, the uh, cannabis stock um, last week or a couple of weeks back. And um, let's dive into um, what uh, came to fruition with this pick. Um, but before we uh, go into that, we need to get the legal and trade disclaimer out of the way, which is um, everything we covered here is for educational purposes only. Um, and um, we focus more on the paper trading um, and obviously uh, all the stuff that we teach um, it's purely for entertainment purposes so do make sure you pause and read the important legal disclaimer and with that out of the way let's uh, dive in to our um, skill sharpener so I picked um, this stock because at the time when I looked, I was scanning through the, the, the charts and I looked at this stock and I saw that obviously we're overextended to the downside, okay? Um, and I saw this long consolidation down here. Then on this candle, we obviously break the high there. And for me, my eyes lit. When I see that upon some consolidation, I see like a shift, okay? So let's just dive into this a little bit further. Upon seeing a swing high taken, this shows that the market is now potentially shifting to a bullish bias. We do not buy up here, but instead we look for areas of value where we can get the best risk to reward. So consolidation prior to this, a swing high, swing low, but a better swing low down here, taking the previous low. When you see that, okay, doesn't need to have this just just a nice swing low. So nice swing high, nice swing low, broken. That's that's the uh, that's the signal. Okay. So you see that being broken, you're you're instantly going to think, okay, this is potentially shifting bullish. Okay. So you don't want to be buying up here because that's poor risk management. Because if you buy up here, your stop will have to go all the way back below the low. So you could argue that it's best to actually take a short than a long up here in terms of um, risk to reward. So um, you have to then find a nice area of confluence and a good risk to reward. What would be a good confluence here? So in this case, we actually have a monthly level, but also the fib pull from here to here to the nearly formed swing high that broke the previous high. So this internal move, okay, here, then the fib pull will show us the dot two five on the monthly okay so when you see that you can then see that if you have a long down here you're gonna risk one because your stop will be below zero you're gonna risk one to potentially make one two three back up to the high okay so confluence market structure break confluence and good risk to reward so these are Three things actually that make a good trade setup. So swing high, swing low, swing high broken. That's like a shift. Okay. And then from low to high, you have the dot five here, 
have a monthly. So it's a really good anticipation that this market's going to shift higher. OK, and obviously in between, there's going to be some levels which we'll take a look at in a minute. So here, stop loss has to go below the low and take profit. We have the VPOC of the range and also the CC. So we cannot ignore that this must be our stop loss if we're going to enter here between 130 and 140. If we're going to enter here, this must be our stop loss and then take profit upon moving the range here, finding the VPOC and from high to low, you also have the CC. So this must be a take profit. OK, so stop loss, take profit, everything set. And then we move over to what came to fruition in this leg. So on the third, I said, dear traders, a quick update on our skill sharp number number seven. If you identify the trade setup to be a long, this is a take profit. It's a 12% rise from entry. So pay yourself and I will follow up with the video, which is today in depth um, with um, how this planned out. So you can see here the opening price for me was 137 down here. OK, and then the current price was 153, which we were taking profits up here, 153. After taking these profits, price moves down 7%. That's a big move. So what does this tell you as a trader? As a trader, it tells you that at these key areas, one must take profits because if you take profits up here, then you are comfortable of at least having. Say you took 50 percent profits here, you could add 25 percent of those profits taken and compound upon seeing the drop. OK, if you still like the drop. OK, so stop loss obviously can be raised to entry. So it's a risk free trade where you've compounded your trade. If you compound it, you don't have to. But if you have, that's really good, really good analysis. And you've gained all of this move up. You've added it back in and now you're expecting a higher because the high will be the very top at 172. OK, so we'll move forward. And then yesterday we then get another 20 percent up for take profit number two and final if you wanted to. So this then followed by a 13 percent pullback. So here again, I'm saying, ladies and gents, pay yourselves after a 30 percent rise. So and today I would be covering the move. So you can see here. So that's the uh, stock Aurora Cannabis and uh, that's the uh, date of the position being closed okay at 171 so that's pretty much the high of the move we went to 173 i think um after that dropped we get another 20 percent move higher for a massive 13 percent pullback so you can see the drop here to 144 and then another 20 percent move higher so all updates were given to all members in real time so Let's take a quick look in um, trading view. I've got the stock open and let's have a quick look. I'll just hide that on the right so you don't get confused there. And we can see all of the tools that we have here. So at the time, what I was seeing was this. So we have I'm going to do some scribbles here. We have a long sideways range. And then once it gets to this area here, we get a break in market structure to the upside. It's not confirmed until you obviously break it second time around. But for me, this is enough to be in play for a nice long position down here. OK, let's just delete these scribbles. And then this was my idea at the time of seeing, which was about here. So if we go on to this, that's what I was seeing. So oops, let's just delete this. So so from The break in market structure, and I'm going to delete some of these lines so that it shows you. So, so let's just hide this. So you've got the break in market structure because that's a nice swing high. This is the low of the move, and that would be your stop loss. And then that high will be your new take profit details. This is this is going to be your target for your take profit. And then in between, you're going to have your smaller levels for take profit. So the lower time frame take profits will be from high to the new low formed will be there at the 155 level. 
okay? For the entry, obviously before that, you want to go with the dot two five tool and go from obviously in this case from high to this low because you want to pull the fib the other way around so that it gives you the 25 down here. So this is good risk to reward because you have one and I'll just make a little um, drawing here. So you've got one to potentially one, two and three reward. So this is a really good way of just looking at the market with a simple fib tool. So from low to high, that's where you want to be finding your value and your good trades. And uh, it was a really good trade in the end. Not all of them will play out, but based on probabilities and risk reward, this would be a setup that I would take any day. Break in market structure, check. Pull back for a key area where we have confluence with the monthly, check. See the reaction, get in. Let's delete that. Fixed range tool from left to right. Where's the point of control? Point of control comes at 155. What else do we have there from high to low? We also have a CC, so we must take profit. Then we get a 7% pullback. Okay, that's good. If you feel comfortable enough, you can add 50% of your take profits from here into there. Okay, and then we then get another leg up to the high of the move, which is the swing high. We literally come up to that high and we take profits again. So now we have an even bigger take profit, uh, a pullback, which takes us all the way back to the beginning of this candle down here. So in terms of a swing trade, you could actually look for this as being really, really extended. And I've got these levels up here, but I am content with the trade being finished here because now what you could do is just monitor price and um, trail your stop loss below this low here and just let the remaining portion of your trade just go and just every swing low that forms, you could actually go two swing lows to the back on every two swing lows to the back, say on a six hour to one hour time frame, just put your stop there and just trail your stop until you get higher and higher and higher. And then when you get stopped up, it doesn't matter because you've banked all of your profits here, compound here, and now potentially you could even compound a little bit more and just keep trailing higher and higher. But this is obviously skill sharpener number seven. Um, all trades and all updates given in real time in Discord. Um, and we should have another one coming up very soon again. Um, and yes, I mean, for um, educational and for um, um, really um, amplifying your tools and getting to a stage where you can take these trades on your own. I mean, this is really good. Um, I think with that, we can leave it at that. I've got one more slide to show you, and it's basically a, a summary of what we should do in this, um, in this market, which is scan the markets, find the setup, plan, the risk to reward, very important. Okay, very, very important. Accept the trade. And what do I mean by that? Accept this risk. You want to accept this. Okay, because when you accept that and you know that this is just a probability game, you don't know if this is going to be out of 10 trades, for example, this could be the one trade that fails. But out of seven, you, you know it's in your side, so you're going to take it. So once you've accepted this and you've accepted that the market is random in terms of probabilities, you don't know the outcome of the present trade, but overall the winning trade should outcome the losing trades, you're in a good side. So accept the trade, take the trade, take your profits and adapt to the market as it's dynamically changing. So what do I mean by that is say we've taken the high and that was our second target. If it comes back below this low and breaks this low, then it's changing again to the downside. So you accept that, you change with that and you adapt and make a new plan. Um, OK, but still it wouldn't have stopped you out and you would have been on your trade. Um, OK, uh, Reens repeats and uh, thank you for watching.